Welcome back to another video from the Sweet Science Podcast. I am. Oh, it sounds weird when I do it like this. It's mm. different because it's usually you because you got I am this person. Mm. So I'll start it though. I've already started. So um, I am Cash, aka Cash, with a K, not a C. Was that what was missing last time? AK yeah, Cash, AKA Cash. Yeah, yeah. I see that, brother. And ah, I'm here cool. with my co-host. My Host. colleague, my brother. Man like mouse up in his bitch. It's not only man like mouse, what is it? Really? Mouse. Why mouse? Mouse So we're here for a different type of video. As you are probably aware, it's not going to be one of our weekly um, podcasts. We're trying to broaden the horizons as, we'd, uh, as we've as uh, we discussed. And we're here to give you a fight breakdown. Mm. We did this on a whim, didn't we? We did this on a whim. We were together... We were having some food, um, do, not dessert for the first time. Yeah. And um, we just said to ourselves, listen, we... So what happened is basically is last, on the weekend, we recorded the video, uh, which the podcast was meant to come out. Um, so by the time you see this, the podcast will be out. Uh, but we had some issues and some delays. Uh, so it's, you know, by the time we sort of recorded the video, uh, the next the following day, I think it was, or the same evening... Uh, the UFC announced that Jorge Masvidal, yeah, no, you know George what they did? Masvidal. They actually announced it while we was filming, remember? Because we had man like Shooms tell us later. Wait, it was uh, just while after we, we finished. While you were filming, man. No, it was just after Is we finished, on, on the way back. So, That's when we found out. So, man. yeah. We, we, yeah. So, we, we found out, basically, after we'd finished filming, um, that George Masvidal, or Jorge Masvidal, is stepping in on six days' notice. Jorge. Jorge. To face Kamaru Usman at UFC 251 on Fight Island in Abu Dhabi on That's Saturday, me. July 11th, 2020. Six days notice. Mouse, take it away. Wow. That was, I mean, obviously we saw it coming. It was either him or Kobe. Uh, not, not really any more, any other people running. Yeah, run no one else really. But that was sensational. You know what? Every time I look towards you, I don't hear myself. And I clock, I don't hear myself when I watch back the videos. So I'm going to have to work on my mic placement. Emmy. But um yeah man, that was interesting, no? It was crazy. Last minute thing, obviously he he stayed ready, he's he's game bred. Um how how do you think this is gonna go though? This is a completely different fight now. It's um well, you've got Usman now, who is he's been training for Gilbert Burns, obviously, who had to pull out due to corona. Different styles. Absolutely, completely different absolutely, style. Absolutely, absolutely. Um a lot of people are placing the upper hand with with Usman because of the time he's had to, uh, to train. Yeah. But I don't know if that's... If that's a benefit enough. or not, yeah. Because yeah, you've been training for a completely different person. Different C- correct, style, yeah. Different style. I mean, on the podcast, we both agreed. Um, so on episode three, we both agreed that Kamaru's favourite. Yeah. on reflection, me anyway, I'll let Mar speak for himself after, but for me personally, after thinking about it, sitting down, seeing Kamaru's interview uh, with Brett Okamoto... Uh, seeing George's interview with uh, Ariel Hawani, seeing their, I don't know, just their, <clears throat> you get an idea of how they feel, mm. kind of. And I haven't seen any training clips of George, um, but I know he's always in the gym. He's always staying active. And this is the problem now for Kamaru is, if he doesn't take the fight, people say he's a coward and you're not fulfilling the, the duty of a champion. As a champ, yeah, exactly. And I agree with that. I, I don't think he's a coward, as per se, but I definitely think that to be a champion, you have to take fights, short notice, full camps, when, wherever, it doesn't matter where it is. You know what I mean? You're the champion of the company. You're the, one of the faces of the division. You're yeah. the face of the division. You're one of the faces of the organization mm-hmm. and you need to set and uh, set an example. And uh, if he didn't take the fight, he would have been dist- He would have got grilled anyway. Yeah. And Kamaru... Generally speaking, doesn't have that many um, fans uh, when he's outside the ring. When he's in the ring, people love him. Yeah. But when he decides to yeah. talk, a lot of people hate he's him. He's got followers. Yeah. yeah. And um, I think he's in a tricky situation because if he loses on six days' notice against against George, it puts him in a very very predicament in a predicament himself. Where should he have taken the fight? Should he not have taken the fight? His stock goes down. Whereas George is still rises up, and that's a question which a lot of people are asking. What about George if he loses this fight? 
Um, is it a win-win for George? Mm. I think it is. He's not meant to go in there and win. Um, I think even on a full camp, you'd if give he wins, up. his stocks rise Immensely, exponentially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a better if one. If he loses and he loses in a close one, yet again, stocks go up massively. Mm. If he just loses, he's got a bligh. He'll catch a bligh easily. Be like, well, you know, he had six days. Mm. So it is a win-win, like Usman put it. And the thing is, uh, sorry, I, I know I cut you off there, Cash. No, that's fine. The madness is, yeah, is I felt like in the press conference or, or whatever it, that was that where um, Kamara Usman was talking. Oh, yeah, the media, call, the, not the media yeah, call, the interview. The interview, he was making excuses already. Or he feels like he's setting himself up to make an excuse or to have an excuse at hand. Because he's saying it's a win-win for Jorge Masvidal. It's something that he's not prepared for in the sense that he... It's a completely different fight. And obviously these things do make sense, but you shouldn't even mention them so soon because now mentally he's losing. Mm. He's on the back foot. He's placed himself on the back mm. foot. Allah. He didn't, in that interview that I watched, he didn't seem confident that he'd, that he'd 100% get the victory. Mm. When he was fighting Colby, he knew he was going to win. Yes. When he was fighting Tyron Woodley, he knew he was going to win. Oh, did, you see the, did you see the little clip? Of um, him coming out of the lift. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I would have loved to see what would have happened. It would have been a madness. But do you reckon? Millisecond. He, they say he looked, sorry, he might have seen him and he just carried on like he just looked away. I know Masvidal didn't see him. But I think he might have actually just caught a glimpse and said, nah, I don't want to smoke now and let's keep it professional. But I, again, uh, it doesn't, I don't know. To me, d people look into that stuff too much. They're going to fight on Saturday. Obviously. Uh, you know, if he didn't want, if he was scared, he wouldn't take the fight. He, he knows he can win. I don't think he has any choice. Obviously, he can say, well, yeah, yeah, he's he backed into a actually corner. He have a choice, exactly. So he, for him, that's why, that's what I'm saying. He's paving the way for like a, this this loss can be justified because. See, this is the difference again between UFC and boxing. Mm -hmm. Is in UFC, it's cutthroat. Um, it's in, not in terms of losses, because in boxing, when you lose, you're basically a bum. Yeah. That's what everyone a says. Big boom. A big boom. But in UFC, in terms of, if you don't take a fight, Dana's going to kick you to the back of the line and the next yep. one's up. Yep. Where in boxing you see it When the main event gets cancelled You don't genuinely get Short notice fights That are big You'll get yeah. an average You'll get yeah, a journeyman Or a someone to come in yeah. yeah a filler a fight filler, yeah. But they'll generally reschedule They'll generally reschedule the fight For another Four months Three months Two months yeah. Yeah. Um, So boxing gives you that leeway Where if you're not feeling good for a fight Or you're not really confident Or you don't want to take the fight Make up an excuse And you get the fight three months down the line yes. Whereas UFC is that You've seen it with John Jones John Jones didn't really want to fight um, Jan Blachowicz. Um, wow, well, hold on. Shout out the pronunciation on that, bro. Thank you, Mizza. Blachowicz. I'm a bit Polish. Blachowicz. I've got a bit of Polish That's in sensational, me. bro. I'm, I'm um, a quarter Polish. Blachowicz. That's how they said, man. Blachowicz. Blachowicz, Blachowicz. Dupa. Uh, good right. Uh, so listen. Um, it's nice. It's nice. It's very good. Very, very, very good. You might be offended, sir. Man. Nacho. Sorry, lads, but yeah, me. We Jeez. always lose because you're fat. <laughs> What's that for me? Oh yeah, Nacho Libre. <laughs> and then he, and then he, the, the, I said it wrong. Then he says you always lose because we're tramp. It's not that. We always, we always lose because you believe in science. What the heck? Yeah, he's uh, some weirdo who believes in science. Right, but anyway, bro, yeah, listen. Yeah, let's get back to yeah. Kamaru. Um, damn, I'll complete. Yeah, like John Jones, basically. Um, he wanted a super fight. And then they spoke about fights And he didn't want to take them And then Boom He's sitting out mm. You know He's sitting out He's not getting the fight he wants And Dana's like Alright cool Same with Connor. Connor didn't get the fight he wanted And he's sitting out Doesn't matter how big of a star you are There's a whole bunch of fighters And I would I really thought During this period of Of COVID-19 And the uncertainty That they would want Their biggest stars To be fighting consistently To draw them money I and they, they don't, don't give it. a shit. They don't need it. They John hasn't it. fought. Connor hasn't fought since the lockdown. And they haven't even spoke about having them on. Dana's like, who cares? We, the, the ball, the show must go on. The show must go on. There's a million fighters that are ready to fight, given their situation, mm. given the fact that they're not getting paid at the end of the day. So but any page. An is, example is in the same right division, Leon Edwards. Yeah. Couldn't get across um, for personal reasons and because of Corona, etc. Mm. Who's next in? Gilbert Burns. Boom. Yeah. And now that's gone, and now now we've got, uh, we've got a fight that I think, to be honest, I prefer to see. Yeah, it's the it's the it's, it's the it's the most exciting fight, bar in my opinion, George and Colby. Wow, those two fights yeah, are the best fights you can put it's currently in the division. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm, I'm at war with myself yeah. I, I think I, I, I so, Sorry I, I strayed off topic cool. Was You asked me who I think Is going to win And what it's gonna, how it's yeah, going to yeah, happen yeah. Basically Um Again, so so the more I thought, so at the beginning of the 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 announcements, the first day I was like, kamaru has got this. Even beforehand, I was like, if they fight, kamaru has got this. Mm. He's been in camp, he's been ready, and but then you again, you mentioned that you compare styles, and Gilbert is a grappler. He's a, a black belt in jujitsu. Mm. He's got the ground game. He's a he can wrestle. He he, and whereas you look at George, George's striking is immense. Very underrated striker. The way he switches his kicks and his punches, yes. he throws combinations, and he's got the power that can that can switch your lights off. Mm. Mm. Like he says when he wants to fight, what does he say? What's he saying about knocking them out? He's like, um, uh, he wants to, to baptise oh, people. That's what talking about. Yeah, he's yeah, like, I want to baptise everybody. He want he doesn't want them to wake up. Basically, he said it when he fights Kamaru. He's like, I don't want it to be ten seconds, and he gets up. I want him to wake up in the ambulance mm. and his team tell him what had happened to him. And, and that's a guy that who fights with bad intentions. Shit, yeah, bad intentions for real, man. He means that shit, man. It's, 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 it's mad. And this is the thing. The air that he's going in with into this fight, that confidence, that self-belief that I see time and time again with this man in particular. Yeah, It's... George. It's unnerving, yeah, Jorge. I'm not going to... I don't know who to, what to call him, bro. Jorge. He's George, really, isn't it? Jorge. Jorge. Like, just, just just call him Nacho. Ignacio. Um, that's Nacho's name. Yeah, that's the nickname, isn't it? That's you, how you are Nacho Monreal. That man's Spanish, bro. <laughs> no, not really. I just did GCSE stuff. Canelo. But yeah, but listen. He, um, oh, see, I don't have the, the skill to get back to what I was saying. But yeah, um, he's going with that self-belief. He's sure of himself. And that is unnerving. That must be unnerving for us, man. Like he stopped off. Did he stop off in Italy to get pizza? What a I don't know what, what a savage. Yeah, but that, 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 that's another thing. Kamaru, um, obviously Friday, I think he was told the fight's not happening. Mm. He was flying back to Texas. Got to Texas. Obviously in the airport on the way there, stopped off, had some quesadillas, tortillas. Just started munching like a madman. Mm. Got to Texas. I think he was eating at home. He went to right, his family that home. That one day he's not going to mash him up, man. That one day he's not going to mash him up. But he's no, trying but to again... In my, even my opinion is is that switch of a mental... Okay. The mental switch, yes, you yes, know? Yes. He's checked out. Yeah, he's he checked, checked out. out. Exactly. That's the best word. To, that's the best way to describe it. Thanks. He clicked the off button. He was like, I'm not fighting. I'm off. And to suddenly, in the same day, I think it was, or the, the following morning, he got a call to say, Kamaru, come back. You've got another fight. Boom. Yeah. Like what happens to the mentality of a fighter? Are you really motivated? Can you really be bothered to travel again? Pack your bags, get back into that mindset to be kill or, kill or be killed. Mm. And this is what will prove if he is the number one in the division. If he is the champion, he says he is. I believe he's very talented. I think he's very elite. I'd say he's in the top ten pound for pound in UFC. Maybe arguably you could put him in top top five because he is that good of a fighter, mm. and he's proven it. He's yeah, proven it 100%. Um, But then if George wins This abs- this is the icing on the cake Not the cherry Yeah thanks for that mate oh, Sorry <laughs> You big dos yeah, um, so That's a reference to last episode <laughs> you, You'll see guys you'll see. When we reviewed it I was like That's the icing on the cherry <laughs> What is wrong with me He's done it oh, We're no. back yeah. But no In all seriousness If George wins it, He solidifies himself as we, I think he, he goes down as a people's legend If that makes sense yeah. He's a legend in everyone's eyes yeah. But this will solidify him His legacy You know Madness. The run that this guy has been on It's like it's culminating for this moment Wow Culminating He Calling the foxes He found himself yeah, On an island Hunter. Doing a game show Yeah And this is where he realised He had an epiphany Yeah he had an epiphany on an island on a game show So he was on an island Stephanie on the Listen to this He was on an island when this happened And he realised This is the man I'm meant to be This is the fight I'm going to be Imagine he wins the title On Fight Island but That's the thing though With this guy I, th- Is it written? It's not even is that it written? written or not written Written uh, in the stars but What I'm I'm saying is, is These guys are way. so dramatic Yeah wow. Do you remember that song? I don't know what that is bro. Written in the stars Tiny Tempo no? Who? Tiny Tempo Written in the stars uh, Tiny <laughs> Temper What was I saying yeah, these Tiny Gusa The Americans in it 
Oh. They're quite dramatic when they speak. You got Deontay Wilder, we referenced as well. Like, I was anointed by God. My grandmama told me I was anointed. Like, just bare dramatic. This guy's super dramatic. I was on a game show and I had an epiphany and I realized that I'm unstoppable. They're just super dramatic. But he, every shot mm. he throws is to take your head off. Literally. Yes, super, super. The super kicks, super you hear attention. the kicks. It's like he's chopping trees. And if he boxes with him, if, if George stays away and picks his shots nicely um, and basically he put, puts, huh? Which he, he's, he usually does, does yeah, he, he always this, does, yeah. yeah. Um, he nice. could win. He can win this. Mm. Um, but if Kamaru gets a hold of him, I mean, his grappling is not that bad anyway, George's. George's got good grappling. He's experienced as well. This is the difference. Come, if you were to sh take a fight on short notice and you're someone who is inexperienced, you might not know how to deal with the situation, the scenario, the environment, um, and the the overall atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You know, it's difficult yeah. to try and get your get yourself into the mindset of let's go now. It's time to go in six days. Oh, that's this guy's been six around days. the block. He's done it all. He fights in gardens. Be, you've got to be. Hello? <laughs> I used to scrap in people's gardens. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's that's on site. You know what I'm saying. That's when you're ready. If he was in London, he'd be like, yo, G, come to the garden, G. Shout, 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 man, shout man, Danny, Danny Dossa. <laughs> shout Danny the little Dossy. He's a little oh, posse. posse. Um, but yeah, Sherman's not here. Where's Sherman going? Uh, listen, man, we've oh, only got shows. half hour in it. <clears throat> so, I'm going to be here all night, G. So yeah, so yeah, I yeah, think, yeah, I, think yeah. I, I agree with you again. If it, It's a 50-50 fight, which is a bit mad to say, but there's two different <laughs> advantages for each. Like there's, there's advantages for both and there's disadvantages for both. Mm. Jorge Masvidal stays ready. He's always had um, Kamaru Usman in his in his sights, so he's yes, aware of exactly. a game plan. Do you get me? Yes, yes, it's so true. Usman's had a long training camp, which is both good and bad. Uh, he's had a full training camp, sorry, but he's been training for somebody completely different. So, what will that bring? How will that pan out? I I'm so excited for this man. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, you could say it's similar to Joshua Ruiz. Joshua was in camp for Jerome Miller. Yeah. Yeah. And Ruiz came in on what three weeks notice, so it's still a bit of time, yeah. but it's a different style, it's a different fighter, and it's the similar similar situation where Kamaru's like Joshua, he's the champion, he's meant yeah, to win this yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. He was going in against Jerome Miller to put on a show, a clinic. Nah, but similar with, yeah, with, yeah, similar with, with Kamaru, like you'd put him in Gil with Gilbert, it would be a tough fight. Like Jerome would come forward, but you'd expect um, Joshua, like Kamaru, come on top to come on top in this victory. Not a showcase, but something somewhere where he can fight a credible name mm. and get a good victory. Mm. Like Joshua Miller, you know, you know, it, it was a stylistically, it was stylistically good for Josh yeah. Anthony. And then you put it is similar in the sense that Ruiz just came off a good win. Mm. Uh, unknown quantity though man. against Alexander Dimitrenko, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was already in camp; he was training anyway. Mm. Similar to Jorge, I mean, his last fight was against Nate. For the BMF title, yeah, but, I, I, but I'm he, not he's, again, to you. he's they're, always they're, it's very different, though, man. What do you mean? Jorge is a bigger name when you talk about comparisons. No, no, but f forget. I 100 percent agree with what you're saying, mm. but forget names and and personality. Let's I'm just not talking about just names or accolades. I'm saying actually, it's n it's not far fetched for him to win. No, no, no. It was that's far fetched. What I'm Nobody saw. Uh, Ruiz winning But they did though Hardcore Very fans knew Hardcore fans Okay but, but I'm that's, talking it's about similar The general here. public no. if, if you know how Jorge fights And the form he's on At Bro, the moment If he wins I'm like I'm not surprised I mean It's like I'm not surprised if he wins But I'm yeah, not but surprised if he loses saying, because You're, you're a hardcore boxing fan Were you surprised uh, when Ruiz yeah. won? Yeah the only it was surprising to see the way he Yeah, but you, he it, it will be slightly surprising if Jorge comes in and starches Kamaru, knocks him out, similar wow. style that like Ruiz does. To, and seconds. that's what I'm saying. Like If he comes out and batters Kamaru, mm. similar to the first two, oh, two rounds shit, yeah. of uh, the Nick, Nick Diaz fight, comes out and puts in work, you're like, bro, this guy's this guy serious. Yeah, this right, guy means yeah. business. And that's what happened with Ruiz. Ruiz came in and did that, and people were like, yo. Yo. This guy is actually real, like he, I knew he could throw combos. I Where's knew he was sneakers? fast for his size. Yeah. I knew he could pop a bit, but now I know this guy's the this man. Guy the and man. it's the same with Jorge. Yeah. Everybody knows what Jorge can do. Mm. But it's about now, it's what, 13 years in the game in UFC, I think. Please, please quote me if, um, me correct me if I'm it. wrong. Can you check? 
mate, this could be the the again the 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 ideal ending. I'm I'm not saying he's gonna retire now, but if he wins this fight, just know, and I said it here first, his next fight will be Conor McGregor. You reckon? Masvidal since 2003, bro. Is that 17 years? 17 years. Sorry, where did I World get 13? World division, a professional since 2003. Woo! You strike force, 70, so tour, shark he, fights. He is the, cur- the the current longest active fighter to have to not have a title fight. He wins, guys. He wins. And that kind of stuff. See, if I'm going with my heart and my head again, I'm doing this always. This is a 50, my heart 50, tells 50. me Jorge, but my head tells me Kamaru. My mind's telling I mean, me no. no. But my body, my body. Man, listen, his name shouldn't be mentioned. Though, like that. But listen, no, I don't know. I just um, I see it going again either two ways. I see either Kamari getting a hold of him and keeping him down and just mauling him, or I see a stand-up battle. Kamaru gets hyped, gets emotional, and gets caught. I don't know what I'm going to lean for. I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> I'm not going to pick a winner because it, it's, it's too difficult He's for me. He's on the fence. No, but it is a 50 I'm on the fence with this when one. It said, yeah, man, it's true. Because when it's 50-50, it's 50-50. Yeah. It's either going to be Everyone's like a, like, oh, he, a Woodley masterclass. So he's just going to, like you said, man, just completely disable him and completely yeah, neutralize anything he can on the ground and just maul his ass. You know what I mean? And, maul him. Maul and, this and guy. take the win. But... He, he being Jorge Masvidal is just an attacker. Just don't, you know listen, he, he, doesn't he being George Masvidal, or Jorge Masvidal, whatever you want to say. Josue. You can't put it past him. Hmm. He could come out and knock him out in the first five seconds. You'd be uh, like, yeah, you know what? I expected he's that. He's done it before. He could come in and <laughs> batter him for five rounds. You'd be like, yeah, you know, I expected that. That's or he could come so in and get true. tapped out and you'd be like, or, or more than be like, you know, I expected that. <laughs> it's mad with, with Masvidal. Because you've be seen the growth man. Like when I see this guy fight It like, better be entertaining I'll put my hands up I thought D- Diaz Nate Diaz was going to beat him I thought Nate oh. was going to I thought Nate was going to be Too much with the pressure mm. And the stand up And he was going to outbox him But after I saw The first two rounds I saw this guy And I was like Wow He has grown So much mm. As a fighter You see it And I don't know if it's the beard And the hair <laughs> That's giving him These magical powers mm. But He's a completely different character now, bro. Mm. He's completely mm. he's evolved, bro. Yeah. He's gone from Pikachu Raichu. to Raichu. <laughs> hey, my guy. Pikachu's an electrician. Raichu's an electrician <laughs> times five. That's oh, a plumber, bro. A posse. Been up huge. A posse. Um, man, if man. Kamaru loses, what does he do? He's still got Colby rematch. He, mm. he, but his stock drops. Jorge loses, he's still got Nate Diaz. Oh, he's still got the beef with Colby Covington. And his stock ain't dropping, bro. He can even fight Connor. Put a BMF title on the line. You know what I mean? There's still options for him. Kamaru's in a tricky situation right now because if he wins, people expect him to win. If he loses, people will be like, what are you doing? How did you lose that? You were in camp. But again, guys, don't don't think that if someone's in a camp for, for, for someone and the other guy's only there for a week, the fight's been agreed for a week, for example, that it's an advantage for one person. It's no, not. No. I see this been as studying being, for the wrong test. Simple. Yeah, I see this as being more of an advantage for George than it is Kamaru. Depending on how he lives his day to day, especially during quarantine. Well, if you live, training, if, if you live, if you live your life active. like an athlete and a fighter, yeah, fighter, fighter. If you live your life like an athlete and a fighter, then um, you, you 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 stay ready. You should yeah, exactly. You stay yeah. ready and you should be ready at you all said times. You live your life like a fighter, isn't it? I was just thinking. What if you live your life like a candle in the wind? I don't know if you get the reference, but the older man might get that. I get that. I get that. <laughs> you, you don't get it, do you? I do. I do. You're it's pulsing. so good. But yeah, man, that's um, anti Elton John and that. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, man, yeah. But yeah, okay. Let's just do it. Fight, fight, uh, fight prediction. Who you got? I'm gonna have to give ifs and ors. Do you see what I mean? So no, if, no, no. Let's just do it. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do it as well. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm not gonna sit on the fence. All right, cool. It's, it's a 50 50. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna say Jorge Masvidal is gonna take it because it looks like Kamara Usman has lost the mental game already. He's told himself he's give, given up, he's checked out of the fight. So I'm gonna say he loses. Um, it, oh. 
case. TKO could, could, should be the case. I can see the stress on his face. You know why? I'm because s- I can any, see how tough it is on, for him to answer. On normal day, I'd say TKO because that's his style, isn't it? Mm. But it's gonna go to it's gonna go to. Oh, what points in a I, robbery? I, I, there's so much to say because if I say if it, it's gonna go with points, yeah, then Usman's got rounds one, two. He's got a couple of rounds to get ready and be like, okay, now I'm in gear and I'm checking back in. Mm. Now you're mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Mm. Now I got you. You ain't leaving the ground. I'm gonna. I'm a cobra. You get me? Yeah. But now. It's like it's, it's. Do I want to say that Usman's gonna get knocked out, baptized by Street Jesus? But I'm not. I don't want to say that, man. But I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna go with it, knowing I'm wrong. Does this make sense? Mm. It doesn't make any sense, bro. It does. Not knowing you're wrong because you might. Shit. We won't find out. I want to call it because I can. I, I. It looks to me like he's he's just he's checked out the mental game. You know, he's just checked out. He's not there. Um, his heart's not in it. Uh, yeah. Masvidal. TKO, man. Okay, TKO. What right. round? Uh, <laughs> early to mid, so I'd say <laughs> one <third>. to five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. First to fifth round. Yeah, it's not going past five. It's not going past one. <laughs> it's not going past zero. It's gonna. It's gonna be. Um. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna round be. three. Round three. Fight. Damn. That's it, man. Damn, you got. That's what I'm saying. So you, it's precise. Mars is going for. If I drop P on that, Masvidal. Like Masvidal stoppage round, round three. three. Shit. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, cool. That's it. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I, I, I set him up. up. I set him up. I ain't gonna give you any predictions because I'm trying to stay in everyone's good books because I'm a pulse side. <laughs> so, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it yeah, has man. been the sweet. Give signs. us the thing, man. Oh, 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 pause. <laughs> Big give pals. us the prediction. Big pals. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go with. Is that my mom? my mom's calling me? I've got to leave. So, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. You're meant to laugh. I'm, I'm laughing, I'm but out, I'm always around. I can tell, blood. But no, the connection should I do? We have got okay, seven that... minutes till, till our booking is over, man. Just put the thing, man. We've got seven minutes until right, two fine. o'clock. Let's go, let's go. Just give us your thoughts, blood. If you're wrong, you're wrong. We get it wrong. Hear me? Um, you want to agree with man slightly, innit? I do. I really want to do, but just Kamaru is just a beast. This cool. is what I'm saying. This is the this is the mental battle I'm having with myself, man. Just call cool, whatever you want to call, bro. All right, you know what? I'm, I am going to go with a... Damn, I'm going to go with a George Masvidal win. Wow. I'm going to go with Jorge so? Masvidal to win. Oh, damn, I don't know. Right. I, I just can't see him winning on points. I can't see him winning on points. I can't. But I, then Kamaru's chin is so good. You get me? This is what I'm saying. Oh, and he that, takes yeah, shots. I want to say it was chest, but the yeah, chest thing there is collapsing. Right, listen, I'm, I'm going to go with my boy Mouse on this one. I am going to go with a stoppage for Jorge Masvidal. You know what? If we get I'm not this. Pick, I'm not picking a round, but I'm going for a stoppage win, Jorge Masvidal. Wow, that's crazy. Mm. All, right, All right, cool. You heard it, man. Both of us sort of on the same wavelength. Pretty much, we've got. Masvidal winning. We've got Dan Hooker wrong. So we, we both got Hooker wrong. So, so if we carry on, then guys, he just bet against us and we always get them wrong. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Who was doing that for a while? That was... Um, uh, Johnny Nelson. Not just Johnny Nelson, man. What's his name? Put some water in the basement. Oh, Teddy Atlas. Teddy Atlas. He was getting them wrong and wrong and wrong. And he was like, listen, I, give I know up. you guys usually look to me to get your, your, um, your odds in. From now on, just whatever I say, go the opposite. Yeah. Go the opposite, because yeah. that's what that's what seems to work. Listen, guys, it has been an absolute pleasure I lie. to join you on this uh, amazing, My amazing fight breakdown. Yeah. We'll be back with more more clips, more videos, um, and even more content on this on YouTube on this channel. We're going to be doing more fight breakdowns, uh, more updates, and hopefully just you guys tune time. in. Yeah, yeah, basically you're going to see us here a lot yeah, more. Me. So, guys, it has been your boy Cash. AKA Cash with a K, not a C. And your boy Fat Mouse. And I'm going to have to just switch up your name for a second. I'm going to call you Indecisive Cash, bro. Because for a moment there, you was kind of, you get me, you didn't want to give it. But on the it's, fence. It's not even on the fence because it was a tough one. But anyway, I get, the, I get why. I understand completely. And yeah, on that note, guys, we are out. Tune in on the day of the fight. We're going to be going live, obviously, or giving our little live yeah, yeah. on the thing. Follow us on Instagram. On Instagram. We'll put on Twitter um, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that big red button down below. Please comment, like, subscribe. Share the thing, man. Share man it with, your, with two, everybody. Two, three weeks have been out and I've got 400 views, bruv. What is this? What did I go uni for? What did I go to school for? <laughs> 
I'd flipping change up the thing, man. You think I traveled the world to have four followers? Unbelievable. I'm angry, man. Uh, he's gone. All right, guys, listen, he's off. He's gone. But please subscribe. He's, he's going crazy. He's breaking everything, guys. But we've got to go. We've got to go. He's out. Out.